Okay, hello everyone. Um, so my name is Reema and I head marketing at Relo. So let me introduce Relo for the people who are joining us today didn't know. So we started uh, Relo basically to help restaurant owners um, and retail businesses to grow their business by retaining their customers and also help them in acquiring new ones through a very easy to use platform. You can connect Relo easily with your POS or billing software and it lets you create your own loyalty program, send promotional messages through WhatsApp, SMS and email. You can send uh, your users personalized offers on their special days like birthdays and anniversaries. You can create uh, n number of QR codes and offer them um, you know, for to, to get like online orders data, maybe use it on your um, outdoor events and do a lot more. So today we'll be talking about how, how important menu is for your restaurant. And today's webinar is going to be conducted by a celebrity chef and restaurant and food consultant, Shantanu Gupte. Uh, he graduated from IHM Mumbai Asia, and he has experience working in some of the best kitchens at Taj Hotel, Taj Group Hotels in Delhi, Mumbai, and Chennai. He also brings with him eight years of experience working in cloud kitchens and restaurants, as well as he owns two of his own brands, Chef uh, Shan Cakes and Shifu. He helps. He has helped with openings of numerous restaurants and food and beverage businesses as a consultant for restaurant and culinary industry. Uh, this has basically given him a chance to learn more about the requirements of some of the crucial elements that are required for a restaurant to succeed. So today he's going to speak about why restaurant, why menu design is important for your restaurant. Um, so I'm just going to make him post. Okay, um, Shantanu, over to you. Thank you, Chef, for joining us today. Uh, I hope you're able to um, say so you're on mute. Me. Yeah, I'm unmuted. I was on mute. <laughs> so hi, everyone. I can see uh, some happy, smiling faces, some known as well, I think, from my area, few of them whom I already know. But nice to see everyone smiling. It's uh, afternoon and good everyone's awake so as uh, Rima introduced uh, yes right i have been working in the hospitality industry uh, within india and abroad for a good over two decades and uh, fortunately have been working with some great brands like the taj uh, i work with few michelin restaurants including gordon ramsay holdings in london I have been instrumental in uh, kind of laying and starting a lot of uh, new restaurants uh, Okay, okay, what's happening? Okay, somebody raise a hand. Can you hear me? Is it still on? Are we still um, on? Yes, 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 Chef, we are on. Okay. Guys, let's okay. take all the questions and queries that you have. Let's take at the end of the session. We'll be more sure, than happy to sure. answer everything. Yeah? Sure, sure. Uh, so, Reema, just to understand this, uh, uh, should we keep it nice and crisp, half an hour uh, kind of session first? Yes, sounds good. Perfect. Perfect. Chef. Okay. Okay. Uh, in between, if anybody has queries or if I do happen to ask questions, which I'll try to keep it at minimum because we have a separate Q&A session on this. And uh, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions after uh, we have kind of gone through what I want to share with you and the uh, PPT. So let's start with uh, sharing my screen. I've made a small PPT. In fact, uh, my business associate Soumya has made this presentation. So let me just share this with you. Yeah, Hello. I yeah, can see yeah. the screen now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, so we'll just go through this first and then uh, we will have uh, any Q and A's that we have. Okay. So uh, most of us, I mean, I have been consulting now for quite some time with a lot of different restaurants to cloud kitchens, to cafes, to fine dining. Uh, we usually consider our uh, you know restaurant menus as a tool for our customer or the guest to kind of go through the kind of product listing you know typically our menu items but you know if we uh, if you go to the next slide so that's the basic understanding that we all consider menu just as a tool to kind of show what we have on our product list but uh, looking at what you know i always go back when it comes to design i know i don't think you know, uh, very few people have uh, done what Steve Jobs has done with his products. We all know the iPods and the Macs. 
uh, for the design but he used to simply say that design is not something uh, how it looks but how it works and i truly uh, kind of uh, i i second him on this because you know the design you know when we can talk about design of the menu it's not just that you know if our menu is ornamental we might be using the best uh, you know uh, artisanal handmade paper for it or we might have beautiful pictures on it but that's not going to be enough it might look beautiful but end of the day if our menu is not helping us increase our sale or if it's not helping us optimize our sales then that design just an ornamental design is not going to be enough uh, is what uh, we believe and that is what we are here to learn today how to optimize your menu so if we can go to the next slide reema okay we'll just need to click so let's take a very very simple basic understanding as to why uh, are we talking menu design and what do we hold in this presentation uh, what could we be gaining from this presentation so we'll just have to keep on clicking now okay so that's just hold just hold so let's say we are no, i'm not i'm not uh, talking about large 300 400 cover restaurants here we are talking about a, a stand alone or 60 70 seater restaurant uh with a modest you know 100 bills or 100 orders a day and let's just imagine if we really get the menu design and the menu engineering right and we are able to increase our sales volume per check just by 75 rupees yeah in today's world 75 is not a big number that's what we think but let's say per day for 100 orders if we are able to increase it on an average just by a miagra uh, 75 rupees our daily revenue increases by 7500 which means our monthly revenue at a 30 average day month increases by 2.25 lakhs if you can click further reema okay now just look at the impact it has when we look at the per annum sales and we are not talking high numbers here we are not talking uh, upselling by 300 400 rupees we are just talking a very small 75 rupees increase end of the year it could result in a increase sale of 27 lakhs now that's definitely not uh, a number that we we know we will not take notice it's a huge number and we understand that or rest is it okay if i talk in hindi in between reema yes yeah, sir absolutely yeah okay uh, so let's let's keep it mixed so kya hota hai na restaurant when we i mean those who have been doing this business will understand that in a day till a certain sales are achieved you know we are paying all the cost whether it is rentals whether it is labor cost food cost overhead taxation whatever our business actually starts in a restaurant even for a day when we have crossed that break even point now this figure 27 lakhs here is definitely the figure about the break even point so we have to understand that from this 27 lakhs we are already the rentals have already gone away or uh, the labor cost has already been taken care of because we are doing sales and this is the increase sales your uh, overhead costs have gone away so besides the food cost ye 27 lakh almost pura ka pura profit hai and and to do something with the same cost i think you know is commendable so now let's see how do we achieve this an average uh, i mean i'm not saying everybody will have a 75 rupees increase could be more but this is an average that we are taking okay cool so uh, what is the importance of menu engineering we have heard this term uh, a lot of times as menu engineering now this is not a rocket science menu engineering is not a building a construction building or a a, a complex mechanism it is a simple format to understand the layouting of your menu so what are the four factors of menu engineering one is menu descriptions how you are describing your menu items your menu costing which is not laid out on the menu but even now during consultancies during our audits we we come across not many restauranters know their exact recipe cost mota moti unko pata hoga ki ha mera 30 taka food cost hai ya mera 28 taka food cost hai but nobody or very very few prof, even professionals know what is my exact cost per item so agar aap let's say Uh, मैं बोलूंगा कि इफ यू आर प्राइजिंग सिजलर इन रेस्टोरेंट एट फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड इफ आई आस्क यू व्हाट इज द एक्जैक्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ ए सिजलर नॉट मेनी वुड नो व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो मेन्यू कैटेगराइजेशन एज टू योर स्टार्टर्स मेन क्लोज दैट्स व्हाट इट टॉक्स अबाउट एंड मेन्यू इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफ दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी विल लुक एट इन द लेटेस्ट स्लाइड्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट 
menu pricing, which is definitely a part of costing. So your menu pricing only can be arrived correctly uh, if you know your costings well. So let's move ahead. Okay, so for a very basic layman, menu is, as I said, something, you know, uh, the uh, what types of food, what type of uh, ingredients, what type of recipes we have on your menu is what we understand. But if you are a professional or if you really want to scale up your business or want to achieve better bottom line profits, we have to design a menu that focuses on your overall operation and promotes profitability. That is what basically we are trying to say. Do not consider your menu just as a listing of your products, but make it a part of your marketing uh, scheme or a marketing plan that you have. That's the whole idea of the right menu design. Moving ahead. <clears throat> so we clearly are stating here that menu engineering is a framework to evaluate and optimize your restaurant menu pricing and design for profitability. Uh, going back to what Steve Jobs said. So here the idea of menu engineering or menu design is not the ornamental uh, decoration or the pictures, but how would it optimize your profits? Moving ahead. This is something that we all need to do uh, if we are uh, running a commercial operation. This is a basic SWOT analysis if you know what strengths, weakness, opportunities and threats. So similarly, we come here at uh, horse, puzzles, dog and stars. So if the right side here is more profitability, and the vertical side uh, graph is more about the number of items sold. So we should be able to categorize our menu, not just as starters, main course and desserts, but as which are our star items. So star items are those which will be low on cost and high on profitability. At the same time, they are selling high. So if you talk about an Indian restaurant, a chicken tandoori or a dal could be their highest selling item, but we have to really look into it, whether they are cost effective. Second is the horses, typically the plow horses, which will sell more number, but they're necessarily not high in profitability. So tandoori chicken might be selling more in numbers, but since it's a whole chicken, uh, maybe the profitability, I'm just saying hypothetically, maybe the profit margin in that particular item is not high. Uh, quickly going to dogs and puzzles are dogs or something, uh, which are your least selling items, and they're also not very cost effective. Puzzles are those which are probably not selling very high in numbers at your restaurant, but they definitely have a high profit margin. And a very typical example of a puzzle is your soup category. If you look at it, soup is uh, one of that category which is really low in food cost. So we have to design the menu in such a way that your soups should be selling more because they are high margin items. So this is what puzzles are typically highlighting that soups could be a puzzle. Uh, they might not be selling high, but that's what you, your menu design needs to ensure. Okay, next please. Okay, few very, very important tips when we talk about menu engineering. Again, what is men menu engineering? It is a framework to optimize your profitability through your menu designing, your menu layouting. Do not put your rupee sign next to the menu. I have seen few restaurants, they typically put those dollar or the new rupee sign next to your menu. What happens is any symbol, any icon first catches attention. And then what happens is your customer starts reading the menu from right to left. And what we ideally want is for him to read left to right. So if I'm giving a beautiful example, uh, Pahadi chicken tikka, and I'm saying succulent pieces of chicken, flame roasted uh, with the spicing of uh, coriander and mint with uh, subtle uh, saffron. So it, it sounds very, very nice. But next to it, if you have a symbol of rupees, then they're going to look at the price first and they're going to say, no, yeah, might be, but it's a little mehenga. Let's try something cheaper. But if you don't do that, maybe based on your text, they might be sold for it. Uh, which immediately brings to us next point that in the modern menu, it's very important to hide the price in the text. So, you will see many menus. Maybe you will see your own menus like this. Your left hand side column is all about the text and your pricing is extreme right where you can easily judge what is the price of the menu. Where I'll show you a few examples as well when we go to the next slide. But just to understand here, what we are trying to say is Jidhar apka text khatam hota hai, where your pahadi chicken tikka ya pahadi paneer tikka ka explanation khatam hota hai, just try and place your uh, pricing next to it. 
not they don't keep too much gap between your text and your pricing value do not bold the prices that is point number 3 pricing is something that we want the customer to focus the less we want him to focus on what your dish is so bold mat kariye prices ko attention jayega to koi high expensive item rahega we will first look at the pricing and then bivi apne pati ko bolegi are yaar nahi yaar agli baar jab aayenge na anniversary pe to lenge aaj hum ye nahi lete that could happen that's a real life example so do not bold the prices use smaller fonts for numbers now in the human psychology if you take any size if your text and your alphabetic i mean your alphabets versus if your numericals you take the same size psychologically the numericals look larger than the text so agar let's say aapka font size agar 12 hai aur aapka rupee matlab uska pricing uh, ka size bhi 12 hai to wo numerical let's say if it's priced at 300 rupees then that 300 rupees will invariably look larger than your text though is the same size so ideally point number 4 Use at least one font size smaller for your pricing. What is the text? Position is everything. We'll discuss about this. So, ask for which menu, which are to keep, which item should be placed in which part of the menu. We are going to talk about this in the next slide. Jahan pe bhi aapko upsell karna hai. So as I said, aapko soups agar upsell karna hai. So try and draw a border or bold the colors or change the texture. Do something with that category that you want to sell more. So it's first thing. पहले अगर नहीं बोलते तो पहला नजर उधर जाना चाहिए. That's what it talks about. Uh, I hope these six points are clear. Any queries regarding this? I am happy to answer this in the Q and A session. Uh, who are listening to this can also take a screenshot uh, through your phone uh, for this uh, particular point. This is a very uh, important chef, thing. Moving chef, ahead, Dima. Chef, if you can please explain the sixth point. सॉरी प्रमोद इज सेइंग समथिंग इज व्हाट इज हैपनिंग सिक्स पॉइंट अगर आप प्लीज एक बार और एक्सप्लेन कर पाए तो अ एक बार फिर से एक्सप्लेन करें सारे पॉइंट्स नो शेफ इज आस्किंग फॉर द सिक्स पॉइंट ओके सो यूज बॉक्सेस बॉर्डर्स बोल्ड टेक्स्ट कलर्स और फोटोज सो हम क्या करते हैं यूजुअली हमारा मेन्यू ना एक टिपिकल टेक्स्ट में जाता है स्टार्टर चालू होते हैं टेक्स्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड योर प्राइसिंग ऑन द राइट इफ यू लुक एट मॉडर्न मेन्यू स्पेशली यूरोपियन मेन्यूज तो वो लोग क्या करते हैं ना Between, they don't place like a left column of text and a right column of pricing. Their menu is mix and match. So three column menu will be, four column menu will be. Who will sell more? For example, we spoke about soups, right? That soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's category, na, you place it in the middle. Menu's soup's profitability is more. So soup's ब्लैक में है तो उस पर्टिकुलर फोन को आप रेड या येलो या कोई भी दूसरा कलर समथिंग दैट यू वांट टू सेल मोर नीड्स टू बी आइदर बॉक्स या तो उसका फोन साइज चेंज कर शेफ यू वेंट ऑन म्यूट वेट Get this on me. Yeah, yeah. Was am I was audible or not? Yes, yes, yes. You are audible. So is yeah. the point clear now? Can we move ahead? Yes, it's it's clear. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ramon. Next slide, please. Ah, this is another very very important aspect. So, अभी तक हमने बात क्या किया कि menu engineering में आपका menu design सिर्फ दिखावे के लिए या ब्यूटी के लिए अच्छा नहीं होना चाहिए उसका फॉन्ट साइज उसका टेक्स्ट ये भी सही होना चाहिए आपका फॉन्ट साइज क्या होना चाहिए नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द साइकोलॉजी ऑफ मेन्यू व्हाट इज द साइकोलॉजी ऑफ मेन्यू कि हम एनी ह्यूमन बीइंग व्हेन ही रीड आइदर स्क्रीन ही लुक्स एट अ स्क्रीन और ए लुक्स एट अ टेक्स्ट बुक अगर आप पेपर भी पढ़ते हैं तो साइंस और रिसर्च ये बताता है कि पूरे पेज पे पूरे पेज पे हमारा नजर सेम नहीं जाता That's why if you open any newspaper, you will see top में थोड़ा सा एक छोटा सा कॉलम रहेगा टॉप से थोड़ा नीचे नॉट एक्जैक्टली द सेंटर नॉट एक्जैक्टली एकदम नीचे ना एकदम ऊपर टॉप से थोड़ा नीचे उनका मेन हेडलाइंस रहेगा बिकॉज दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज एंड दैट इज वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू फ्लैश आउट एट द सेम टाइम वो जो मेन न्यूज रहेगा उसका फॉन्ड भी बाकी के न्यूज से बड़ा रहेगा सो वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग यूर इन दिस इफ यू लुक एट दिस मेन टू इज डोंट गो इन टू वॉट रिटर्न इन द टेक्स टिपिकली ये जो बीच का कॉलम है जो हाईलाइटेड है दिस इज इन द केस ऑफ वन पेज मेन्यू अगर आपका मेन्यू 
वन पेज है या ये पर्टिकुलर पेज है आपका मेन्यू भले बुकलेट का है लेकिन इफ दिस इज द पर्टिकुलर पेज इन योर मेन्यू तो कस्टमर का नजर मिडल सेक्शन पे ज्यादा जाता है अब हम क्या करते हैं बहुत बार हमारा मिडल सेक्शन में कुछ होता ही नहीं लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में डिश का एक्सप्लेनेशन रहता है और एक्सट्रीम राइट पे हमारा न्यूमेरिकल रहता है सो वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू टेल यू इज राधर देन कीपिंग इट लाइक दैट डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री कॉलम्स ईच पेज यू कैन डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री कॉलम्स आपका सेंटर कॉलम में जितना चीजें होगा वो आपका सबसे ज्यादा ध्यान खींचेगा आपके कस्टमर का तो जो आपको ज्यादा बेचना है आपको ज्यादा बेचना है वो चीजें बीच में रखिए वो चीजें बीच में मत रखिए जो कस्टमर वैसे ही ज्यादा लेता है अगर आपका चाइनीज रेस्टोरेंट है तो वो वैसे ही चिकन मंचूरियन वेज मंचूरियन ट्रिपल शेजन ज्यादा ही लेगा तो वो बीच में रख के फायदा नहीं है आपको बीच में वो चीजें डालनी है जो आपको ज्यादा बेचनी है अब आपको ज्यादा क्यों बेचनी है जैसे हमने कहा कि उसका फूड कॉस्ट कम है तो आप बे, वो चीजें बेचेंगे तो आपका प्रॉफिट बढ़ेगा आपका प्रॉफिट पर ऑर्डर बढ़ेगा तो दिस स्पेशल मिडल पार्ट शुड बी असाइन टू थिंग्स दैट यू वॉन्ट टू सेल मोर पर ये चीज आपको तभी मालूम पड़ेगी जब आपको आपके खाने की कॉस्टिंग मालूम है सो कॉस्टिंग इज अ सेपरेट एक्सरसाइज मे बी वी कैन डू दैट सेपरेटली बट दिस इज द टिपिकल आइटम पार्ट और दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ द पेज वेर यू वॉन्ट टू सेल द आइटम दैट यू वॉन्ट मूविंग अहेड रीमा सो वॉट इज मेन्यू साइकोलॉजी मेन्यू साइकोलॉजी इज अ स्टडी हाउ अ रेस्टोरेंट मेन्यू कैन इन्फ्लुएंस योर कस्टमर स्पेंड मोर मनी ऑट योर रेस्टोरेंट देर आर सर्टन टूल्स यूजल रेस्टोरेंट्स रहते हैं वो ध्यान नहीं देते हैं but if you look at larger restaurants people who are professionals in the industry for the past 10 15 20 years either they will do it themselves ya to they will hire special people of course somebody like me to kind of design their menu ab main kya design kar raha hu main koi graphic designer artist nahi hu to main unka beautification design nahi kar raha hu main sirf unka menu aise design kar raha hu ki unka sales maximize ho that's what this point is talking about either you should know it like i am talking in the presentation if you don't go to a professional the goal of this technique is that the customer should look at the menu and instantly know which dish they want without thinking too hard about it matlab kya humne bola ki beech ka jo menu uska explanation itna acche se likhe uska pricing thoda sa hide kar de through not using larger fonts taki customer pricing ki tarah na dekhte hue aapko jo use bechna hai wo beche ab just imagine kare ki hamar roz hum news dekhte hai kuch na kuch news dekhte hai kuch na kuch news dekhte hai aapko lagta hai ki न्यूज के अलावा दुनिया में कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें नहीं चल रही है ऑफ कोर्स ना कुछ चल रहा है आप तक न्यूज वही पहुंचती है जो न्यूज चैनल को पहुंचानी होती है हमको लगता है कि हम टीवी देख रहे हैं तो न्यूज हमने देखा तो इट्स सच अ ब्यूटीफुल इनपुट इन अ डे बट मे बी दीज आर नेगेटिव न्यूज मे बी इसके अंडर किसी का uh, कुछ पर्सनल uh, इंटरेस्ट हो सकता है कुछ एजेंडा हो सकता है बिकॉज एंड ऑफ द डे न्यूज चैनल इज अ कमर्शियल चैनल राइट सेम वे योर मेन्यू page or your digital menu is a commercial channel so you should be able to guide the menu to sell more that you want to sell not what the customer wants add let's move ahead that's what menu psychology is how to understand the psychology of the customer ha to ye main design layout ki baat kar raha tha ye arrows aapko dikhenge usme aap center mein dekhiye kya likha hai your first eye focus to ye kidhar hai probably ye menu landscape mein hai isliye center mein dikha raha hai अगर आपका मेन्यू वर्टिकल में होता तो ये थोड़ा ऊपर होता सो हाउ डज द आई मूव पहले बीच में आएगा आई फिर ये राइट हैंड कॉर्नर में जा रहा है फिर लेफ्ट हैंड कॉर्नर में आ रहा है फिर नीचे आ रहा है एंड देन इट्स कंटिन्यूइंग इन दैट पैटर्न और ये कैसे हमको ये मिला तो ये रिसर्च किया गया है अभी की बात नहीं है एटीज नाइन्टीज में रिसर्च किया गया है ट्रांसपेरेंट मेन्यू के पीछे कैमरा रख के उन्होंने देखा है कि हाउ डज द आई मूवमेंट इज सो इसका मतलब क्या है जहां पे फर्स्ट आई फोकस एरिया लिखा है ना आपके मेनू आइटम्स यहां आने चाहिए नॉट ऑन द लेफ्ट नॉट ऑन द राइट दैट्स व्हाट दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेंटर काइंड ऑफ द सेंटर ऑफ द पेज मूविंग अहेड ओके ये जो मैं आपको एग्जांपल बता रहा था ये जो ट्रायंगल दिख रहा है ना व्हाइट में सॉरी टू डिस्टर्ब सॉरी टू डिस्टर्ब बट सॉरी समबडी सेइंग समथिंग प्रमोट अगेन एक बार प्लीज लास्ट स्लाइड एक बार प्लीज लास्ट स्लाइड एक बार प्लीज लास्ट स्लाइड I didn't get your question. Can you be louder? Uh, uh, Chef is asking to uh, repeat the last That's slide again. To... Hello. Just I want to just yeah, click the picture. Part. Can you raise? Yeah. Can you type the question in the chat? Yeah. Uh, Mars, you can please. 
Yeah, chef, he's just asking to repeat the last slide again to explain the last slide again. The I focus that you explained. How Not to users... explain? I just want to click a picture. Okay, okay, all right. Sorry, what is happening? Can Dima, can you tell me? I'm not hearing anything. Yeah, uh, Pramod, what we'll do is we'll share this. One second, ah, I'm blue. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, Dima. Chef, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You can carry on. I can't hear you. Hundred percent to hai. Uh huh. Yeah, Ash. Yeah, Ash. That's okay. You can carry on. Okay, fine. 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 हाँ, so ये जो ट्राइंगल है ना आपका विच इज शोन यर दैट इज योर मेन्यू फ्रेमवर्क जिसमें आपके मैक्सिमम इंपॉर्टेंट आइटम आने चाहिए और अभी आप यहाँ पे देखो उन्होंने लिखा है वो टेक्स्ट बहुत ज्यादा लेजिबल शायद नहीं होगा छोटा फॉन्ट है लेकिन आप ध्यान से बीच में देखेंगे ना तो ये देखो बीच में उन्होंने मेन्यू का प्राइसिंग डाला है ऐसा अलग से नहीं लिखा है उन्होंने उन्होंने मेन्यू प्राइसिंग अलग से नहीं लिखा है यहाँ पे इफ यू लुक एट द सेंटर पार्ट so that is what I am trying to tell you to do slowly and steadily कि menu का pricing next to your dish लिखो उसके बीच में space मत रखो that is what uh, we are talking about are we clear on this can we move yes chef yeah yes okay. yes okay good now I can hear you okay I think that's about it ah uh, but besides this PPT so what I am trying to tell you is that uh, a lot of people spend a lot of money on getting great uh, पेपर आर्टिशनल पेपर ब्यूटिफुल पिक्चर या तो फोटो शूट करवाते हैं या डाउनलोड करते हैं ऑफकोर्स दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट बट दीज एस्पेक्ट दैट वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट द मेन्यू डिजाइन एंड द साइकोलॉजी ऑफ मेन्यू आर मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द सेल्स पॉइंट वी ऑल्सो टस्ट ऑन टू अ पॉइंट कॉल एज द फूड कॉस्ट विच इज अ बेसिस ऑफ मेन्यू इंजीनियरिंग सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट मेन्यू इंजीनियरिंग इज प्रोबेबली द सेकेंड स्टेप To do the right menu engineering, you need to know the right food cost. A food cost का एक format होता है where you have all your ingredients. आप जितना quantity use करते हो उसका price Excel में भी आप कर सकते हो. And you need to know the food cost of your each and every dish. आपका portion size आपको पता होना चाहिए. So let's say if you are talking about, आप I'll just give you a general example. When you go to, I I should not be using any brand names, so I'm trying to avoid that. But if you go to this uh, national or international MNC पिज्जा आउटलेट्स और इफ यू गो टू बर्गर आउटलेट्स आपको कभी दिखता है क्या कि उनका बर्गर का साइज ऊपर नीचे होता है या उसके अंदर जो टिक्की का साइज है वो ऊपर नीचे होता है कभी नहीं होगा बिकॉज इट इज मेड विथ सच एक्यू काइंड ऑफ प्रिसाइज स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन कि दैट स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन इज एज पर द कॉस्ट अगर उसमें बीस ग्राम भी ज्यादा या कम हो गया तो उनका पूरा कॉस्टिंग मिल जाएगा वो दैट्स द होल आइडिया सो नो योर कॉस्ट एंड देन मूव ऑन टू मेन्यू इंजीनियरिंग दैट्स द होल आइडिया That's about it, Rima, for now. I hope. Uh, people yeah. Understood. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chef, for uh, you know for such a great insight. Um, thank you. I'm just to to sum it up. To sum it up, uh, you know, Chef, you talked about how uh, different kind of items in the menu places different kind of importance. Like soup has a high margin, and there are some items might have lower margin, but they are more popular. And how to give importance to all of True. those items separately. then we talk about uh, the pricing and you know how the importance of pricing plays on right left or between we talked about uh, customer psychology how it is important when it comes to uh, menu how they look at the menu how they perceive the menu we also talked about the their focus and we also talked about it affects on profit which is very much interlinked with the pricing and the menu and the margins you know that restaurants have right, and right. Um, yeah and the food costs that we might take uh, some other time so guys we are open yeah. for q and a session now uh, we see that there are a lot of people who were uh, messaging so if you have any questions feel free to drop your questions in the chat box and we'll pick it up one by one Yes, anyone? Uh, Pranay, uh, you just mentioned Q and A session. Okay. Ah, uh, so Pranay Kothari is asking how to design seasonal menu. So for seasonal menus now in a city, if you are from a city like Mumbai, it uh, or any part of India, 
seasonal venues have to be designed keeping in mind what is fresh for that season for two simple reasons a uh, anything that is in season is usually cheaper it's better in terms of health quotient for that season and it is also uh, better that uh, you know uh, uh, let's say if you're talking about let's say a typical example of sarso ka saag now sarso aata hi thandi ke mausam mein okay Okay. Yeah. Uh, Chef, he is he is also asking in the context of a pizzeria. So we are assuming that Mr. Pranay Kothari has a pizzeria and asking how to design okay. it in a season. So yeah. pizzeria, I see. Now pizza is not an Indian product. So when you create a seasonal menu with it, up cheese or maida ka jo apka base hai, wo to same hi rahega. What can be seasonal is the toppings, which means your toppings have to be more Indian. Ab agar apka exam Italian pizza hai, to ab usme India mein rehke seasonal nahi kar payenge zada. लेकिन अगर आप उस पर इंडियन टॉपिंग्स डाल रहे हैं फॉर एग्जांपल यू लाइक वी सेड कि अगर आप सिंगाड़ा डाल रहे हैं फॉर एग्जांपल तो सिंगाड़ा विल कम इन अ सर्टेन सीजन अगर आप उस पर फ्राइड ओक रहे यानी भिंडी डाल रहे हैं तो भिंडी का एक सर्टेन सीजन होगा सो योर टॉपिंग्स विल हैव टू चेंज एज पर वॉट इज अवेलेबल इन सीजन एंड नो टू बेस्ट टेल यू दैट देन योर वेजिटेबल वेंडर यू विल टेल यू वॉट वेजिटेबल इज इन सीजन फॉर यू बाकी आप सीजनल अब इंडिया में नॉनवेज की बात करें तो Throughout the year, unless there is something like a shravan going, uh, prices of meat are either fairly constant or they are gradually increasing. But uh, non-veg me, it's not that I have less or less. It's that I have more. Vegetables me, it's that. So most of the seasonal menus have to keep in mind what vegetable is in that season for your pizza. Because your tomato sauce will not be seasonal. Your cheese will not be seasonal. Not your base. So only okay. your vegetables can change. Right. Very simple. Uh, yes, Pranay, we we can experiment uh, with inventing new pizzas. Uh, yeah. So uh, there's Yogesh. Uh, Mr. Yogesh is asking, should there be any color combination? Okay, guys, can you please because there are a lot of people asking questions. Uh, drop down your uh, questions in the hand. chat. Yeah. And then you uh, can pick it up from there, Reema. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So Mr. Yogesh is asking, should there be any color combination? Or between the menu? Yes. So the color combination of the menu most of the time should synchronize with your decor. Okay, but maximum use of three colors is good for menu. If you're using more than three colors, it 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 becomes too confusing and jazzed up for the uh, restaurant. There is no such color combination particularly. Your standard font has to be black or charcoal black. You know that is the most pleasant to see generally. Or जो आपको highlight करना है that has to be Uh, a stark color, so it could be a blue, it could be a yellow, or it could be a red, which are uh, you know very prominent colors. But the entire menu ideally should not be a yellow or a black. So, बहुत झटाइंग हो जाएगा. Keep it black as much as possible, either white on black or black on white in general. And जो आपका highlight category items है, you can use red, blue, and yellow ideally. Right. Um, insightful. So we have uh, Mr. Anupam Rastogi is asking: Is it important for a QSR to write description of the products in the menu? No. So QSR again really depends on your product. Uh, ideally, any description if it's short, it's good. But if you are a QSR, then your items are also such that they don't require too much of an explanation. Now, a tandoori chicken is a tandoori chicken. It does not require an explanation unless you are doing any specialty cuisine under QSR. So, if I tell you, uh, I have a Thai QSR and I write Gengkuwi, yeah, Gengkuwa, something like that, which is my in Thai. So, if I write Thai, then I need an explanation. But if I write Green Chicken Thai Curry, or Red Chicken Thai Curry, or Green Veg Thai Curry, then I don't have much of an explanation. In a QSR format. Right. In a QSR okay. format. Hmm. Guys, we just have 10 minutes. So, we're going to quickly wrap up the questions. Now there's uh, Mr. Steff is asking. I would like to know the best way to replace meat uh, basic ingredient for a vegetarian. So yes. there are today there are two ways. You get uh, TVPs that is texturized vegetable proteins, which today are also called as vegan uh, meat. So there are a lot of brands doing vegan products. Uh, now I cannot recommend this brand or that brand. But to alternate meat, the best use you can do is this either this vegan product or you can use things like jackfruit and soya. these are the natural substitutes or you get vegan meat products today from a lot of companies right uh, we have foodos cafe um, asking what should be the design of digital barcode order menu is there something that chef you no i didn't i didn't get the question 
so he is asking what should be the design of a digital menu basically i i, I think that is what he is trying to the design of a digital menu should be exactly the same as your printed menu there need not be any difference the principles that will uh, apply for a printed menu the same principles will apply uh, for a screen menu aap news agar newspaper mein pad rahe ho ya laptop pe pad rahe ho ya phone pe pad rahe ho the vision of the eye moves in the same direction so it really does not uh, change from a print to a screen right uh makes sense with reference to the menu design we have rishab asking with reference to the menu design and psychology how does a cafe upsell more of desserts interesting that's an interesting question right so in a cafe when you're trying to see desserts is the last part usually the last course in any restaurant thing the best way to upsell in a cafe is to have your desserts for display that is one thing that has got so ideally if you are talking about from the menu point of view if desserts is what you want to observe then humne jo wo baat kiya ki center mein jo uh, aana chahiye that sweet spot uh, a little uh, in the center should be your dessert column if you want to observe second thing from a operation point of view you are asking either your desserts can be for display or the third thing that a lot of places do and we have done it in the past is while the customer is almost finishing the main course you can have somebody like your waiter walk with a tray of your uh, desserts because desserts are usually a impulse by product okay right. so from the menu design element place it in the center that sweet spot that we discussed from operations point uh, show it around to the customer that you dekh ke use khaye right uh so so there is a very interesting article that i came across recently uh you know in in conversation mm. to what chef is saying is that a lot of people bake it uh, at the beginning so the fragrance of that fresh bakery when somebody enters that that mm. is one mm. thing that you know a lot of bakery uses to have people order desserts the aroma is a sense not uh, yeah. one of the senses so that will convert your mind to buy but restaurant right. mein nahi shayad rahega wo uh, right. aroma nahi shayad rahega yeah. so that's what i'm saying so these are the three tools menu wise usko beech mein place karo but best way to sell a dessert is aapka dessert beautiful bane garnish acha ho and then you just show it to the customer that today you have this desserts on menu taki jitna wo pad ke nahi khayega utna wo dekh ke order kare right okay we have uh, one last question by mr pranay kothari again is asking there's uh, introduce new item to menu how do we do that we are good at what we do but how can we experiment i think uh, this is again uh, mr pranay if i'm not wrong uh, you have a pizza area right so yes. is the same yeah so now see there is no one answer to this how to introduce uh, uh, you should always have one r and d section ab wo customer nahi bolta ki wo r and d hai the r and d is in your mind research and development is in your mind so when i opened uh, a cloud kitchen now today it stands at five outlets in mumbai so humne kya kiya first when we started for the first six months we did the standard pizzas your margaritas and your pepperonis and all that once we completed six months to eight months nine months one year then aapke customer uh, is asking for something new that is the time when you introduce your new pizzas today a new pizzas combination so this is more of a chef question that you have asked me uh, from a food point of view then you will have to experiment like i have put thai pizzas on the menu i have put uh, turkey flavored matlab how a pizza zatar spice pizza out taste in turkey we have done that how how yeah. would a greek pizza look like how would a fatir or a pede so fatir and pede are not exactly pizzas they are the egyptian or the arabic versions of the pizzas mm -hmm. so you can do that you can do calzones which are folded pizzas you can mm -hmm. do mini pizza pockets so these are the things that you can introduce if i am able to answer you right yeah. Yeah. um yeah i guess chef that uh, answer this question guys any other questions you have uh, related to menu how to plan party or banquet menu um so this is the last question that we are taking for the day guys um how to plan party or banquet menu we have this from mr vijay so party or a banquet menu from a restaurant perspective or from a catering perspective uh mr vijay from a restaurant perspective okay so if restaurant is uh, so pretty much you now a party menu hoga ya koi bhi menu hoga the principles are going to stay the same right the principles are going to stay the same between a starters main courses desserts soups so it will be planned pretty much the same way up you are asking about how to plan the menu yani aapke menu mein kya hona chahiye 
इज दैट वॉट यू आस्किंग मी ये यू आस्किंग मी की मेन्यू मेन्यू कार्ड पे कैसा लिखने का हेलो माय कंसर्न इज हाउ टू लाइक देर आर मेनी पीपल कमिंग फॉर अ डाइन इन रेस्टोरेंट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस बट हाउ कैन वी प्रमोट एज इन लाइक वी ऑल्सो डू हैव पार्टी पैकेजेस और वी डू हैव सम बैंकवेट सो हाउ लाइक वी कैन प्रमोट दिस काइंड ऑफ पैकेजेस और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट व्हाट व्हाट विल वर्क फॉर यू इज कॉस्ट क्रॉस मार्केटिंग सो जो भी आपके पास डिनर करने आ रहा है at mm-hmm. the end of uh, the day when you go with the comment card or something you should the best way is that your waiter should be capable enough or your supervisor should be capable enough of ex- explaining him this that you also have a party facility okay that is the okay. first thing that is to come jab aapka comment card aata hai to comment card ka jo design hai usme aap apna party ka advertise kariye ya aapka okay. jo bill folder aata hai usme place a card for your different packages so every customer gets it okay sir okay in your, in your restaurant you should you can have standees at the entrance we talk about the party also what you can do is if it's your regular customer you can give him some discount we book a party okay sir okay. this is not about the menu this is about how you basically what you are trying to ask me is how do i market my party yeah. right and my concern was both of this both of the same sir like uh, even planning of that menu how to do that Like in principle, sir, how to do that in the sense, जो आपका principle, see how to plan a party will आपका जो restaurant का menu उसमें जो चलता है, वो ही आपका package रहेगा ना. The principle, if you ask me how to print this menu on a menu card, then the same principle that we discuss for a restaurant menu will apply for a party menu. Okay. उसमें तो कोई हाँ, उसमें तो कोई change नहीं होगा. आप कौन सा item party का करना चाहिए अगर आप ये बोल रहे हो, तो they have also always have to be those items. आप बोलो ना. और हॉर्सेस होने चाहिए सार और पजल्स होने चाहिए डॉग वाले जो आइटम है ना वो कम से कम डालना पार्टी में बिकॉज दे विल गिव यू लेस मार्जिन केटरिंग पार्टी में हमेशा वो आइटम होने चाहिए जिसका मार्जिन ज्यादा हो ओके ओके डू यू वांट टू टेक अनदर क्वेश्चन वी हैव वन मोर श्योर Uh, so for a South Indian cafe, we have this from Mr. Vikram Vashish. He's saying for a South Indian cafe, should he place different menu items as variants like onion masala dosa, cheese masala dosa, so and so forth? Because it gets crowded and has many combinations. So should I place onion cheese as like a uh, basic add-on or as a different variant? Okay. So basically, what he's saying is add-on. Ah, uh, मतलब वो menu के नीचे लिखो add-on onion masala. So let us understand that Indians don't really add a lot, but they can add on, and Indians really don't take to pay for add-on. They only understand paying for the product. If you ask any Indian, he will not give it extra. So the best ideal deal for an average Indian is to have number of items. So your uh, sada dosa is one, your masala dosa is one, your Mysore masala dosa is one. They should be the variant. I understand that they create a crowding. But then uh, uh, that will come to your design. कि आप box कैसे बनाते हो, आप space कैसा रखते हो. But add-ons writing separately, Indians are not very very fond of add-ons. Indians are not. हम हम वो लोग हैं जो अगर हमको parcel bag के लिए पांच रुपए कोई मांगता है तो हम देने से कतराते हैं. So Indians don't understand add-ons. Right. I I hope that answers your question, Mr. Vikram. Okay, guys. So uh, I think we'll end off Q and A uh, for today's session over here. And you know, on popular demand, if uh, Mr. Sh- uh, if Chef is free, we might have like one more webinar with him. Uh, you know, very soon. Chef, you 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 seem to be uh, popular around here. So yeah, I'm happy okay. about it. Yeah. Okay. So how we joined us? Just wanted to mention. Can connect with us on LinkedIn and on. Uh, Instagram at Chef Santanu. We keep putting uh, popular videos or the kind of questions. This was one of the aspect of menu, but there are many other aspects to a successful yeah. restaurant. So you can connect with us on LinkedIn and Facebook. Uh, my handle is Chef Santanu or Santanu Gupte. Yeah, and guys, we'll be uploading the whole webinar recording on our YouTube channel. I have mentioned the link in the chat below. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can see it for our previous webinars recording. We'll upload it soon, and you can also check out Relo's website. We're giving 14-day free trial. The link of the same also I've mentioned in the chat. Ah, uh, you know, Relo will help you market all all of those menu ah uh, differences and all of those menu that you come up for your restaurant. 
you can you know update send whatsapp campaigns for your user you can have them engage in your own custom loyalty program as per your business because we we uh, realize it's very difficult for uh, the restaurant industry to retain so you can create loyalty program which is you know similar to maybe starbucks level uh, loyalty program and happens uh, check out once you sign up our team can get in touch with you for a free demo so uh, yeah um, thank you guys thank you for taking time out today and thank you so much chef for such an insightful session yeah thank uh, guys so do follow us on instagram also it's get relo g e t get relo it's on instagram and facebook and we'll keep coming up such kind of webinars in future we'll uh, keep updated so thank you everyone thank you for joining thank you everyone thank you yeah. bye bye yeah bye everyone bye chef